Welcome to this day. It is Tuesday, September 6th. We hope you had a great weekend. Thanks for joining us today. All right, we have a couple of meetings to tell you about. We've got one at 9.30 this morning, and that is the GRF board meeting that is uh, in the boardroom as well as virtual and also televised right here after our morning broadcast of this day. And then we have the third finance committee meeting, which will be at 1.30 this afternoon. All right, on our show today, we have live in our studio, we have Dan Daly, who is here from Alzheimer's OC, and then we have Grace Carpenter, who is sitting in for Sunshine Lute on behalf of the Fit Brain Club. And then we talked with John Hovanesian, who uh, tells us a little bit about what can happen if you have some damaged eyes. So stick around for that. All right, let's take a look at our weather. Well, we're still looking at a very hot week. I know it was scorching last week and we're still uh, dealing with the same types of things. However, by the end of the week, a little cooler and some rain in our forecast. 91.75, 93.75, 91.78, we start to uh, cloud up, then 98.79. So it's going to feel like, uh, I think, the East Coast here. We're going to have a little bit of uh, humidity as well as clouds and then potential thunderstorms on Saturday, 87.75. And uh, our sunrise this morning was at 6.28, and our sunset will be at 7.09. So that is really jumping up earlier uh, very quickly. Now, joke of the day today is, what's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot. <laughs> All right, we need you guys to send in your jokes. So if you've got a clean joke, a short joke, not about how short I may be, but about something that, uh, you know, is kind of short in nature, like, uh, you know, sentence-wise, send that in to us. Uh, email us to LagunaWoodsVillageTV at gmail.com. All right, when we come back, we will have the Fit Brain Club and Alzheimer's OC, so stick around. The Salvation Army presents a Lunch and Learn workshop, Protecting Your Family and Increasing Your Income, September 29th at the Balboa Bay Club or September 30th at the Marbella Country Club. Call 1-800-298-6532 for more information. Every year we would get a charitable gift annuity with the Salvation Army. This helps me, it helps my daughter, and it helps the Army. The Salvation Army will tide you over, give you shelter, give you food, and help you get back on your feet. Pacific Cremation Services offers you the ultimate freedom to become one with the salty breezes and brilliant sunset reflections. A scattering at sea is a unique, beautiful way to honor the life of anyone who chooses to be cremated. We help you plan the details and understand what to expect. Choose from our three simple plans and let us help you start the process of healing and life celebration. Contact us at PacificCremationServices.com to create a personalized service at sea today. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, COVID lockdowns in China, relentless inflation and rising interest rates have disrupted production and caused the global economy to stall. Is your money at risk during these uncertain times? Do you know how much exposure you have to the stock market and bond mutual funds? Should you even have money in the market today? Get a free risk analysis to ensure your capital is protected. Call now for information on the Safer Money System, 949-219-0692. 4M Dental Implant Center wants to give you something to smile about. Get our next generation one day implants with the best deal we've ever offered. Take $2,500 off, plus an exam, CT scan, and x-rays for free. That's a $4,000 value. Our next generation implants are stronger and more natural looking than anything else available. See the difference with a free virtual consultation. Call 800-4M Dental now to leave your embarrassing teeth in the past with our special offer. Love your smile again. Welcome back. Well, we have Dan Daly and Grace Carpenter here. Well, welcome. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you well, for thank having you. us again. Nice You're welcome. See you again. Nice to see you. Now, uh, you know, we have you on regularly to talk about Fit Brain Club as well as Alzheimer's OC. But just as an overview, let's just give a quick synopsis of what Alzheimer's OC is. 
Alzheimer's Orange County is in its 40th year as an organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, several years ago, we returned to be an, an independent organization. Uh, prior to that, we were part of the uh, National Association. Right. And uh, for different reasons, we decided to become independent again. Mm -hmm. So we continue to provide the community with programs and services to help individuals and families, especially uh, coping with dementia. Mm. And uh, as you know, we work very closely with a lot of different assisted living facilities, senior centers, skilled nursing facilities. We also have an interfaith uh, religious service every month. And uh, this is scheduled for the full year. In fact, we have one coming up in uh, a week or so, and it's going to be at the Presbyterian Church here, right on Moulton. Okay. And uh, I think it's United uh, Presbyterian. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we uh, choose a, a different location. Uh, it could be a synagogue. It could be a non-denominational church mm -hmm. or a Catholic church. Mm -hmm. So it's scheduled for the whole year. Okay. And uh, actually, the vans from the assisted living facilities pull up with the uh, residents in the vans and the caregivers. Mm -hmm. And some uh, families will take the, uh, uh, the resident of the home to the uh, facility and the church, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's always a, uh, a lunch served immediately thereafter. But what it does accomplish is it provides that individual with socialization. And believe it or not, in a Catholic church, the priest will go by aisle and give the host. Wow. And they can respond. Either they put their hand out mm -hmm. or they head up to receive the host. So that memory has not been compromised. Interesting. Yeah, Isn't very that interesting. interesting. Yeah, you never really know, uh, you know, when someone is going to get this, or you know, exactly. I mean, they have statistics, right? But you just never uh -huh. really know. Um, what is your association with the Fit Brain Club? Well, because of Sunshine, who is the backbone, of course, and um, my husband had Alzheimer's. Okay. I didn't know it till an autopsy, but he had Lewy body. Oh, no and kidding. And so, um, yeah, that's why this book by the National Institute of Health became my Bible. Um, I didn't have a diagnosis. And uh, this week, uh, Susan Schneider Williams' documentary came out here to us. It's been in Europe, but it came out to us on September 1st, and it's available free on YouTube. Oh. So she, at the end, holds up this book, and she said, a correct diagnosis is what would have helped. And I thought, yes, we had nothing but this book until we each had autopsies. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So the Fit Brain Club helped me just navigate those unknown waters. My husband has violent hallucinations. I don't know what he has. Ah. He wants to go to church in the residential facility. He saw the Catholic Church across the street. He went over there. They couldn't keep him away. So every day wow. then I was taking him to the, the, that memory that you're talking about, right. Dan. So for me, with the Fit Brain Club and with Sunshine, it was music. Sunshine taught us all that with music we could reach that brain and, and block a hallucination. And that's what I did with my husband and with other people and I'm doing now as a volunteer. I can go around to assisted living homes and I can sing a song they know mm -hmm. and they can sing along. Right. I remember you were saying you were going to be with the Hotchbergs coming I up, am right? on the okay. 23rd. 23rd. Okay. Yes. Thank excellent, you. Excellent. Excellent. Well, let's talk yeah. about what we've got going on coming up so we can help lots of other people as well. Is there's a meeting that's going to be live in Clubhouse One, so tell me about it. Well. As you said, Dr. Tan will be there. Um, you said you're going to be there. Uh -huh. I'm going to I'm be there. there. Um, it's not only informational. Oh, it's free. And it's at Clubhouse One. Mm -hmm. You kind of walk to the back, and it's in the art room. And just walk in and sign in. That's all. We just need a sign in. That's so important. We have very little documentation. What Dan and I were talking about it. There's so much support needed in the community, and often family members are reluctant to even admit that they're going to meetings. Mm. And I remember one woman, she said um, she just didn't want 
anyone to know her story, but she was at the meeting. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, gave her a hug at the end of the meeting and said, see you next week. And she was there next week. Oh, good. So that kind of person-to-person -person contact that we can do at these yeah. Fifth Brain Club meetings, essential, right, Jim? Uh, very essential, very essential. And then essential. There's, there's refreshments provided by the um, Ad Adapt to It. Adapt to It, yep. great organization, great it company, good got, people. Yes. They, they, have a lot, they do a lot of support for the community. For sure, and then, um, but then Dr. Trin also does a lot of support for the community yes. too in his within his research as well as his education. Yeah, and so you're having him back. It's, has it been a while for him? Right, it's been about uh, three months. Okay, and uh, he's no doubt the most popular medical uh, doctor and speaker in uh, all of Orange County. I mean, he uh, he's out there. He's, he has a style that's very down to earth. And uh, he doesn't, he adjusts the topic to the audience, to the level of intelligence of the audience. Mm -hmm. So not everybody is a doctor, obviously. So he's not <laughs> using medical terms that nobody understands. Yeah. And he also never does uh, a PowerPoint. It's always a conversation. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the audience is very interactive with right. him. Mm -hmm. So uh, he'll do a great job. He'll give an update on the, the latest as far as on the research side, Good. as far as what he's doing with Irvine Clinical Research. Mm -hmm. He is on the board of directors of Alzheimer's Orange County, by okay. the way. Okay, okay, so and, there's a real close contact there. Oh well, yeah, very much so. Mm -hmm. He's on the third floor of our building. We're oh, on I the see. second floor. Okay. And right. uh, but he's uh, very very active on the Excellent. research side. Now you've been you've been with Alzheimer's OC for quite some time. What's your connection? I am the uh, I think for the better term, better understanding. I'm in business development. Okay. Um, and the uh, Alzheimer's. I started with Alzheimer's Association nine years ago. Mm. So uh, I'm still in the same uh, position that okay. I was in uh, okay. when I first started. But prior to that, I had been a conservator for a friend of mine who had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I see. And uh, during that portion of time, during the five years from the time of the diagnosis till the end, it was his passing, mm -hmm. uh, I learned an awful lot. Prior to that, I was in the medical device business, mm -hmm. and I never uh, was associated with anybody with uh, Alzheimer's or wow. any dementia. Right. Right. And uh, so it, with his passing, I wanted to do something in his name. Mm -hmm. So I started volunteering for the association. And uh, then after doing a, a year on the Speakers Bureau, I'd go out and make presentations to different groups, mm -hmm. business groups, mm -hmm. civic groups, religious groups. Uh, they offered me a full-time position in uh, healthcare outreach specialist. That's my title. And you do a great job at that. <laughs> well, I really enjoy it. I, I'm a firm believer that you have to give back. I also think that uh, my life has been pretty good for me. When I look at the assets in the, the column versus the liabilities, <laughs> the assets far away the liabilities. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why I got involved with this. And I really look forward to every day. I look forward to the challenges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, at the end of the day, I appreciate the, the satisfaction of accomplishment. Yeah. And that's very important to me. Yeah. Both of you have had a mm -hmm. lot of uh, uh, situations with Alzheimer's, and I think it's great that oh, you're on here to talk about Oh, classes that yeah. we were able yeah. to go to. They provided right. all that support. Right. We did art. We did music yeah. and dancing oh, yeah. and right. Yvonne right. and everybody at the center. Yeah. Alan, uh, yeah. what's his first name? He's on the speaking circuit. Well, oh, ben, Allen? Ben, Allen. ben Allen. Ben Allen. Yeah. Oh yeah. my yeah. gosh. No, it's it's a great organization. I'm glad you can partner together. Let's take one more look at when this is again. It is going to be Monday, September 12th at 10 a.m. And you don't need to sign up. It's free. You can just walk in, sign your name, and go on in and enjoy Dr. Trin. Yes. Perfect. Well, thank you both so much. I appreciate it. Thank, oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Good to see you again, Lisa. Good to see you.
Of course, if you want more information about this, you can always go to alzoc.org or fitbrain.us. We'll be right back. Welcome to Harvard Eye Associates. We're focused on your eye care at all three of our Orange County locations. Our new location in Laguna Hills, Orange, and San Clemente. Each facility features the latest in advanced technology and diagnostic equipment. And a trusted collection of doctors that care about your vision and your quality of life. We deliver what matters to you and your family. Harvard Eye Associates, the future of vision today. Welcome back. Well, today we have John Hovanesian, Dr. John Hovanesian, who is here on behalf of Harvard Eye Associates. Well, doctor, thank you so much for coming in today. So good to see you. <laughs> I never get doctor. to call you doctor. <laughs> yes, you I call always me say John. John. And I'm I'm pretty informal about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you can make it in, and um, you know, I think we've talked about this in the past because. Lots of our residents are very active, yes. and I don't think we really think about our eyes to protect them. We think about our knees and our backs and yeah. other things, right? But the eyes are probably the last thing we think about. So true, and this is the time of year when it happens to, because we've got all these projects people are taking on at home, mm -hmm. things they want to get done before the weather gets cold and whatever, and you're in a hurry, and that's when injuries happen. Exactly. And to the eye, it's so tragic. So yeah, tragic. yeah, and like you mentioned, um, I even think gardening you had mentioned last Ooh. time is is dangerous because yeah. if you don't wear something to protect your eyes, even sunglasses, you really could like get something in your eye. So what you have here showing us is you've got a couple of different options that people can use to protect your eyes. You know, the most important thing to protect your eyes is just be aware of the possibility of injury. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's yes, it's about uh, wearing protective eyewear but you have to think about it to, to put them on. And you also have to have decent ones that you'll be okay wearing. You don't okay. need to spend a fortune on safety glasses, something from Home Depot or any hardware store is just fine. Mm -hmm. As long as it's comfortable, so you're not gonna say, ow, this pinches, yeah. and as long as you can see through it, right? right? So if you can wear it over your existing glasses or you know, in any way that you will not hesitate to use it, Buy new ones when they get scratched up so you don't hesitate. Yeah. Because, you know, think about it this way. If you get injured, what is it going to mean to you to have to take care of that injury? And then worse yet, to have a life uh, time of, of poor vision in at least right. one eye. I mean, right. it's tragic when it happens, and we just we just so feel bad when people uh, end up coming in with eye injuries that could have been prevented. Even yeah. the smallest foreign object, working overhead on your ceiling, something falls into your eye, oh, yeah. can leave scar tissue that will permanently affect your vision in that eye. Oh, wow. You know? So whether you're outside gardening and you want to wear something that's uh, tinted or inside and you need something clear, just put them on. Just right. put them on any time you're doing really any project, especially if it involves uh, grinding or drilling or anything with a power tool. Well, you must have had several people come in because I'm imagining, several. you know, you're pretty adamant about it. And you know, you did show a couple of glasses, but you did also mention put them in, put them on over your existing glasses. So our existing glasses aren't protective enough. Um, they're really not because as you can as you can see these are, are um, uh, more just sunglasses that are on the screen but uh, they provide a lot of side protection proper oh, yeah. uh, you know protective eyewear provides side protection and most of our glasses we wear day to day just don't right. and yes they're better than nothing but uh, don't consider them safety glasses so if I'm you know doing something around the house and if I've got on reading glasses or something I'm going to put safety glasses over them yeah and teach your kids to do that and teach your neighbors to do that. And when you see a worker in your house, you tell them if they're doing something, wear your safety glasses. And if they don't have them, say, here, borrow mine. Borrow yeah. mine. Because I insist on you doing that because guess what? You get injured, injured in my house, I'm potentially liable for oh. that. Don't let workers do that. 
right? And I think they're only a couple of dollars at, um, don't quote me, but a couple of dollars at Home Depot, you could buy a handful. <laughs> a heck of a lot less than having surgery. <laughs> well, And exactly. all the cost of medications and all the time that it takes to yeah. get taken care of when you have an injury, don't let it happen. Now, if you do get something in your eye, uh, I, I think generally the, the thing is to rub it. <laughs> and, oh, pull your lid out over, yeah. you know, and try and let it come out. What is better yeah. than that? Yeah, well, so it, it, those things, rubbing the eye often embeds or, or, or makes it, uh, what you want is some fluid in your eye. And your eye will usually, if there's actually a foreign object, it'll produce a lot of tears. And most often, foreign objects get washed out by the tears. Mm -hmm. But you can add some fluid by using any type of artificial tears. Um, I'm not uh, advocating any particular brand. In fact, I put the Walgreens uh, brand up there to point out that it doesn't have to be a name, a name brand, brand product. Yeah. It can be a store brand okay. uh, product that you use. Um, that's not the same as flushing the eye. You know, if you have a chemical injury, if you get, you splash bleach in your eye, and by the way, when you're doing your laundry, if you're handling the bleach or any strong detergent, Put on the eyeglasses, put on the, the, the wow. protective eyewear, really, because that stuff is nasty if it gets in the eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, bleach or, or another chemical, you want to flood it with lots of water. Uh, flooding it is, is what dilutes the, the damage, right? right? And they say dilution is the solution to pollution. <laughs> uh, and in the eye, so tap water is fine. Ordinarily, we so don't put do tap water. So what do you like run your... I mean, it's hard to get your face underneath the water. Yeah, so you can water. get under a high sink. You can, you, if you've got one of those nozzle things, you can spray it toward the eye. You don't have to spray it directly in the eye, but next to it so that it will run through okay. the eye. Look up, look down, you know, uh, move the eye around so that you let yeah. the fluid get into all the little corners uh, of the mucous membranes around the eye because particulate matter will sometimes hide there. And mm -hmm. if you're flushing the eye and you don't flush that out, um, you know, you'll have ongoing injury. Okay. And then once that's done, get yourself typically to an emergency room, uh, a place that's open and is set up to do further irrigation and to get you in very quickly. When you, If you call a doctor's office, they're not really set up to take a, a, an emergency chemical injury like an emergency room okay. is. So they'll initially treat and then eventually refer to some somebody like us to evaluate. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because yeah. once, once it burns your eye, then then what do you do? Then there's yeah. a lot more of a difficult situation. You're blind for a long time. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. good reminders. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's always good to see you and uh, and and you know try to keep us a little bit safer out there. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to see you. And if you uh, want more information about what we've just discussed, or if you need to talk to Dr. Hovanessian or any of his staff about these particular types of injuries, you can always call them at the number on their screen. We'll be right back. Harvard Eye Associates, we are committed to your vision care and quality of life. It's a commitment we don't take lightly. Our trusted team of doctors provide specialized eye care using state-of-the-art technology. We deliver what matters to you and your family. Harvard Eye Associates, the future of vision today. have a few announcements for you of some activities that are coming up uh, for the rest of this week as well as into the rest of the month. We've got Grandparents Day that is coming up here this Saturday, September 10th from 1 to 4. Now it is free admission for adults and infants ages 0 to 2, uh, but children are $5. They're going to have lots of fun things for them to do. Bounce houses, obstacle courses, crafts, games, prizes, lots of fun. So uh, if you want more information about that, you can always email recreation at vmsinc.org. Then we've got the Linda Ronstadt Revival that is coming up here uh, on September 17th at 7 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. We had a chance to meet her, which was really great. She looks just like her, and I'm sure she's going to sound just like her as well. Uh, tickets are on sale now. You can get them at the PAC box office. Um, however, you can also go to tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com. And again, if you want more information about that, 
email recreation at vmsinc.org. The Astronomy Club is having an activity and uh, very exciting. They are going to help you learn about the history of satellite technology from 1957 up to now. And there are lots and lots of satellites out there. So they're gonna tell you all about that September 21st at 7 p.m. in Clubhouse one. And there's going to be a buffet, and it's an Italian buffet that is coming up. Sounds delicious. Martinez is going to be serving the food, and they are the chefs. Caesar salad, chicken parmesan, beef meatballs with marinara, meat lasagna, garlic bread, tiramisu, and more. So can't go wrong with that. That is $24 per person at Clubhouse 5 at 5 p.m., on September 29th, so you're going to want to get a reservation through recreation at vmsinc.org. And then looking into October, we have a performance, Zeppelin. Who's Zeppelin? Now that's going to be Led Zeppelin as well as The Who, so they're going to be doing tributes to both. Saturday, October 1st, 7 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. Same thing applies to get tickets. You can call the PAC box office or get them there. Uh, or you can go to tickets.lagunawoodsvillage.com. All right, let's take a look at our weather. Uh, hot again this week. We have a heat advisory again. We will update you tomorrow on cooling centers if they are the same or if they have changed. I'll have that information for you tomorrow on our morning broadcast. But take a look at these numbers, 91.75, 93.75, 91.78, and then very hot, 98.79, cloudy and then the next day we are looking at possible thunderstorms also with the heat advisory even though it is a little cooler 87 75. so stay cool this week stay cool today and throughout the rest of the week and we'll keep you apprised of those cooling centers here in laguna woods as well as around uh, the area have a great day in the village we'll see you again tomorrow right here on village television at 9 a.m and if you miss our programming you can always go to our YouTube channel, Village Television, and click on this day. Bye-bye, have a great day. someone to clean your house is a big decision. After all, they'll be inside your house and touching virtually everything you own. Sadly though, not all cleaning professionals are actually real pros. Like this person you found online who uses the same sponge in the kitchen they use in the bathroom. If you're looking for a local family-owned business with amazing customer service, contact MadePro for a free estimate. MadePro, when you're ready for a real pro. When a loved one requires ongoing assistance and attention, home-related care and caregiving become viable alternatives to an existence dependent upon hospitalization. Your home care provides thoughtful general care and assistance with the basic necessities of daily living, all within familiar surroundings. Hello, I'm Kyle Warner, and I would love to talk to you about how we can help with your home care needs. Call me today.